So welcome to my unboxing of the iPhone 5. I apologize for the fact that I'm wearing a headset here. I'm actually streaming this concurrently on Twitch TV. And uh, so if you guys aren't already subscribed to me on Twitch TV, it's twitch.tv slash Linus Tech. This is the iPhone 5 of one of cameraman's friends. And I'm just gonna move this chair and we are gonna unbox it. I know everyone and their dog has already done an iPhone 5 unboxing, but I don't care because I haven't done one yet and I haven't seen one yet. So we are going to have the unboxing experience. The unbox, the unbox, the box is quite similar to the iPhone 4 in that it contains an iPhone. Oh, that is really light actually. Oh, that makes a big difference. Okay, but we're not gonna, oh, no, no, we're not gonna look at the phone just yet. We're gonna do my usual thing where we actually make you guys sit through the accessories before we, before we actually, before we actually open the phone. So bonjour would be an indication that uh, you bought your phone in Canada. Hello. And there's my cat knocking things over, which he shouldn't do. Okay, more accessories inside here. So we've got ah, a lightning cable, which is different from a Thunderbolt cable. Completely different, by the way. So the cable no longer cares how it's plugged in. You can actually plug it into your iPhone 5 this way or this way, totally doesn't matter. I would have loved to see Apple release something that would be like a Thunderbolt compatible connector or perhaps USB 3 compliant, but you can tell from the only four pins inside here that this is not indeed USB 3 compliant in any way, shape or form. This is just a USB 2 cable that has been redesigned for no apparent reason. Uh, we've got a very similar wall plug to what we got with the, uh, with the iPhone 4, what I got with my iPhone 4, and we have Apple's all new earbuds. So let's go ahead and go back to, uh, I don't remember what page we were on before, but Apple is making a pretty big fuss about these new redesigned earbuds from the sound up. Apparently, the concept at Apple, if I could find the way to open the package here. So the concept at Apple was by, by blocking more of the earbud, you could direct the sound more to the... Oh, look at that. Is there two drivers in there? I actually haven't done any research on these whatsoever. So there's an included microphone, as we've come to expect, from anything included with a phone. You've also got your built-in volume control. And uh, yeah, completely. So there's two ports on these. The ports are actually... So this will go into your left ear. So that'll fire right into your ear canal. And then there's also a port kind of on the outside that may give them sort of a richer, fuller sound. But having not tried them yet, all I can do is sort of point at them and point at them and laugh, you know, Nelson style. Ha ha! You know, whatever else. Um, now let's get to the iPhone 5 itself. And this is going to be so funny if you guys do watch the show regularly, is we're going to do an iPhone 4 size comparison. So you can actually see the iPhone 5 is more like the thickness of the internal part of an iPhone 4 without the glass pieces on the outside. The width is identical, so you can't even see the iPhone 5 behind the iPhone 4. All right, and then the height, as you can again see, is longer. So the iPhone 5 has a four inch display. This is a retina, retina class display. It's 11 something by something. You know what, I really haven't, I really haven't done much prep for this. I'm not really much of an Apple guy, so you guys will have to just forgive me for this. Hold on, hold on. Let's look it up. We'll just look it up because that's what, that's what, that's the professional thing to do. Comes with an eight megapixel camera. Oh, this is cool too. So the front camera is now 720p, which means you can FaceTime in HD if you actually use FaceTime. I used FaceTime about a half a dozen times when I first got an iPhone 4. And since then, I haven't touched it. Um, I mean, you know what, you guys, I would love for you to leave a comment under the video if you actually use FaceTime or some kind of other equivalent voice chat because I doubt it. Uh, 1136 by 640, so that is an enormous resolution for the phone itself. Let's get some close-ups as if you guys... Oh, look at that, there's a scratch on it. You see that? Uh-oh. Cameraman's friend might think that was us, but we have, we have film documentation that it wasn't us. It was already there when we peeled off the protective sticker, so... Hmm, that's sort of disappointing. I'm sorry, cameraman's friend, that you're going to have to endure that. Let's go ahead and fire this 
fire this bad boy up. So we'll get some shots of the... It's actually very beautiful. I mean, Apple's so good at this. They've gone instead of a silver, a silver aluminum, and I'm sorry you Twitch guys aren't going to be able to see this or whatever, but instead of a silver side, they've gone with a, a black, a dark, like a gunmetal looking side. So our speakers are still on the bottom. Our headphone jack is now on the bottom, which is actually kind of convenient for me. So think about this from an ergonomic standpoint, guys. I'm holding my phone, I'm using it, I'm setting up my playlist, and then I'm going to put it in my pocket. I'm going to want to put it in my pocket this way, as opposed to this way. So this is kind of smart. I often ride my bike and I listen to music while I'm riding my bike. So I often set a price, uh, price list, a uh, playlist, and then put my phone in my pocket. So I think that's kind of smart. Okay, there's our lightning connector there on the bottom as well. And we've got our, aha, that's where our SIM card's gonna go. That's where our power button is. Apple really hasn't changed the power button layout in quite some time. There's our LED flash on the back of the unit, as well as that eight megapixel camera that does have new modes in addition to being eight megapixels. So you can now take panoramic shots just by like moving it around like this, which is sort of neat. You got your usual mute button on the side here. Uh, as well as your volume switches. So yeah, they just really haven't changed anything about the uh, About the input. You know what? You know what? We're, we're gonna be okay. Okay We're gonna be the first ones on the internet to show a cat operating an iPhone 5 So let's see if I can get my cat to unlock the screen Rumble, can you unlock the screen for me? Let's see if it'll work. There we go. Did you get that, cameraman? You didn't get that? Okay, here. Well, he's gonna click the button that says no SIM card installed. You got this? Eh, eh. There we go. What a good boy. Next, let's pick a country. He's purring. So cute. Pick Canada. Oh, no, no. Canada. There you go. You know where you live. Good job, sweetheart. <laughs> let's put the cat down again. Okay, so let's go through some of the other stuff. So, retina display. Probably an outstanding display, although I obviously haven't looked at it yet based on my previous experience. Wow, it's light! The same kind of responsiveness, again, you've come to expect from, from Apple. The lightness really does make a big difference. People kind of are joking about the longer screen, um, and I personally don't really think it's that funny. I think it's outstanding because it's going to be better for watching videos. It's also going to allow you to continue to type, to touch type, with one hand, um, which I cannot personally do on a Galaxy S3. You're going to have to give us a minute to throw in a SIM card, and we'll be right back and I managed to not know that the iPhone 5 for its uh, you know, LTE network connectivity and whatever else it needs it for uses micro SIM, which means I can't just pop my SIM card in there. And uh, that's uh, quite unfortunate. However, we can do a quick overview of the rest of the features if you guys aren't already familiar with them. And can we? Is there anything else? iOS 6, does anyone care about iOS 6 at this point? I mean, that Maps app is like the butt of every joke that I have encountered on the internet in the last little while that isn't Gunyam style or however you say that. So, yeah, I don't know if anyone cares about that. Oh, the new A6 chip. So you're still getting great battery life out of it. I mean, even now, two plus years into owning my iPhone 4, I still get reasonable battery life out of it. So A6 gives you up to two times the power of the CPU and two times the power of the GPU that we found in the 4S, but while still maintaining excellent battery life. So that's encouraging as well. Um, okay, not only battery life, etc, 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 okay. Well, I think that's pretty much it. It's thinner, it's lighter, it really is lighter. Wow, that makes such a big difference. Um, I thought I didn't really like the new ID based on pictures and whatnot, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I'm actually kind of sold because I always really liked the feel and the heft of the two glass pieces on the iPhone 4, but uh, yeah, I could be convinced to use an iPhone 5, especially with the widescreen for, you know, using air video or whatever else to watch, well, videos. And, uh, and just, yeah, the fact that it's so light. So thank you for checking out my horrible, horrible unboxing of the iPhone 5. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And yes, mostly computer videos, not so much, not so much iPhone videos, but who knows, maybe we'll get into it later. Better.